What you see here are the pupae of Sorantia apollina, also known as the ghostly silk moth of Madagascar. These pupae were inside silk cocoons, but I've removed them to check their health and viability. If you look closely, you can see where the antenna, legs, and even the eyes will be when they emerge. Much detail is apparent even at this stage. So let's take a look at the first to emerge, a beautiful female. You can see why they call it the ghostly silk moth. The gray and white shading is unusual and somewhat transparent. You can see my hand right through the wing, making it appear like a ghostly creature of the night. This large moth species is found only in Madagascar and it is almost impossible to rear in captivity as they feed on a single host plant, a wild vine from their native country. Conservationists are actively planting and encouraging growth of this vine in order to maintain the numbers of this species in the wild. This shivering you see is the moth warming up its flight muscles. Larger moths tend to do this as it takes a bit more effort and warmth to get into the air than their smaller relatives. Much of the only color on this moth is on its head, and you can see it sports a nice rich burnt orange on its head and those fantastic black antenna. This one is particularly active, although they are nocturnal and tend to naturally rest during daylight hours. Like the majority of silk moths, this species does not eat as an adult, but reserves all its energy for reproduction. It has but a few days to fulfill its purpose and will then be gone. One or two days of flight alone will tear and shred its wings. Their beauty is unfortunately quite fleeting. I have focused heavily on species from Madagascar this year, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the species only found on this island. Please consider subscribing if you would like to see more of these fascinating creatures from around the world, right from the comfort of your home. And as always, thanks for watching with me.